Hi everyone, this is Angie. Let me take you to the newest park I know. It happens to be located in the heart of a city that never sleeps. First, let me get down to West 18th Street between 9th and 10th Avenue of Manhattan. Oh, uh, uh, where's the High Line? Uh, let's turn around. There you go. Now I see the High Line about a block away. Phew, we're in the right place. Now you can trust me. As we are getting closer to the High Line, which is the green oasis of New York City, we can see a couple of buildings with green walls like this. These walls are there to cool down the buildings from heat island effect and to support urban biodiversity. This is my eDNA water sampling site, Pier 55, which is located within a 5-minute walk from the High Line. Yep, you heard it right! That very Pier 55, where the Titanic was supposed to end up if things had gone as planned. And this is the very new park we're visiting today, the Little Island. This little island standing over the Hudson River is a man-made green space, as you can tell. Because nothing in New York City gets spilled without a struggle, opponents of the little island battled for years and years to stop the project, and investors wanted to give up. However, Governor Cuomo ultimately rescued the project with a promise to enhance protections for wildlife habitats and improve other parks around. Let's check out what this new urban park has to offer. I had a chance to talk to the land architect slash plant designer of the Little Island, Miss Signe Nielsen, and she told me that about 50% of plant spaces in the Little Island is native, just like many other urban parks for practical and social reasons. Well, let me show you which ones are native and which ones are not native since we're here. I'm going to initially verify with Google Lens on the spot and then cross-check with the plant list which Signet kindly provided. Come, meet this native, Echinacea preparia or vintage wine. Can you believe this pretty native plant species is actually onion? Meet Allium stellatum. Hey, look who's here! It's Bombas in patience a native bumblebee of New York City, and is having a feast on the non-native plant species called Veronica spicata or a spiked speedwell. Shh, careful, careful. Meet this threatened native species to New York, Monarda didyma, or purple rooster. The color of this native species reminds me of a song Autumn in New York, Millennium Autumnale or Sneezeweed. This Missouri native species is named after the Greek god of medicine, Asclepius incarnata or Swamp Milkweed. This species is known to attract monarch butterflies, not just honeybees like this. Oh well, I'll be luckier next time. Oh wow, our native bumblebees are having a union party here. And the species that is accommodating this Tajuli union is non-native, and its name is Estilvi chinasis, or a purple candle. Alright, it's getting too hot, so I'm gonna take a short lemonade break. It's awesome that the little island uses plant-based products for a drink like this. A plant can be a brunette too. This unique looking non-native species name is Actea simplex brunette, or brunette bugbane. The species name of this native plant will probably tell you for which disease this plant used to be used as a cure. Lobelia syphilitica. Just like humans take off their jackets when necessary, it's absolutely normal for this native river birch to peel for photosynthesis. These city kids are checking out native bumblebees on Agastish poquito or butter yellow. This species can trace its heritage back to a little known Native American species in Oregon and the Rockies. Thank you. 
I cannot take my eyes off from these beauties. Although it may seem a little exotic, Lobelia cardinalis, or a cardinal flower, is native to North America. Hydrangea arborescens, or wild hydrangea, is the name of this native species. It is a known fact that Native Americans use certain parts of this plant to treat urinary tract diseases and spider bites. This handsome tree that is standing tall on the high spot of the little island is Quercus imbricaria or shingle oak, and it is a native North American oak tree. I hope you enjoyed watching this video.